Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 104 of this present series with me Craig Barton. Now I'm going to return to one of my all-time favourite TES Maths resource uploaders. He's the winner of the coveted TES Maths resource of the year, I think from last year, and he's just produced hundreds of amazing resources. And I haven't featured him for a while so I'm going to in allow myself a bit of indulgence and just showcase one of his most recent resources. It's Owen134866, otherwise known as Mike, and he's back with Aries of Flags brackets with circles. Now those brackets are important because those of you who are a fan of Owen, like I am, may well know that he had a previous uh, Aries of Flags resource which was absolutely outstanding and it's linked to there. But that one just f focused on flags that have squares, rectangles, triangles in and so on. But the public are demanding more. The public are saying there's loads of flags with circles on there. Can you produce a resource with this? Well, Owen's uh, gone and done the job. So. All, like all these resources, and I'm going to call, and sometimes I'll call him Owen, sometimes I'll call him Mike, it's the same person, it's not some weird kind of fight club split personality thing, so just, just bear with me on that one. Uh, like all these resources, they contain a PowerPoint and a worksheet, and you get the answers as well, it's just phenomenal stuff. So let's have a look at those, um, and I'll tell you what, just before we get into this, there's some flipping hard questions coming up here, so just get ready for them. So the PowerPoint is beautifully laid out. Uh, you get a nice little starter for the students to have a go at. And as I said there, some lovely, uh, lovely uh, answers, work solutions, step by step, nicely animated there. And then you get the uh, you get the kind of setup of the lesson and it just runs itself. Uh, uh, what Mike's done here is um, give you an example of one of the questions from the worksheet that I'm about to show you, just in case you want to take students through one example, just so they know how you want their work setting out. Or you can use that for support material if a student's struggling and just let the rest of the class crack on with it. Um, and the idea of the lesson is this, I'll just show you the worksheet. So you get loads of, uh, loads of flags from different countries all around the world. And your job is you've got to work out the area that each of the different colours on the flag represents. And it starts off reasonably nice where you get a bit of Japan there and you get the radius of the circle is two centimetres. What's, uh, what's the area that's white? What's the area um, as red? And also try to give you answers in terms of pi, as it says there. But fairly quickly, it builds up and builds up. So if we just uh, wander down here to, uh, let's go to the Aborigine flag there. So you've got the yellow circle fits exactly in the middle vertical uh, third of the flag. So straight away, you get in some extra information there. Little fractions coming into play now. And so the students are going to have to think, what's the area of the rectangles? And then how on earth am I going to work out the radius of that circle, just given the information that I've got there? Um, and then that's not, it doesn't stop there. Look at the Macedonia flag. The total area of yellow rays is four times that of the central circle, which has a diameter of four. So it's problem solving, it's rich, it's challenging. Look at the Tunisia one. This this took me about eight, eight goes to get my head around this. The star and the crescent take up a third of the area of the circle, which has a radius of six. The height to base ratio of the flag is three to four. We've got ratio, we've got fractions, we've got problem solving. And that's not even the hardest one. Look at the Colorado state flag, and then look at this RAF one to finish. So it's a wonderful resource, and again, kindly, there's all the answers, both in terms of decimals and in terms of pi. Absolutely wonderful stuff. So when are you going to use this? Well, I'm, I use this with my Year 11 class. Um, we're done, we're, we're just currently revising for our GCSE. Um, and they're a little bit dodgy, some of them, on uh, on circumference and area. But it's strange because some of them are dodgy on it, as in they can't remember it and pretend that they've never even seen a circle or the letter pi before. And others are fairly comfortable with it and want pushing on and want challenging. So it's it's that classic situation. What are you supposed to do in, in with a lesson like that? Well, this, this is just perfect for it because everyone gets started on the start a bit. And then if I can identify that students have got problems there, I can I can just give them a give them some extra work on practicing circumference and uh, an area. Whereas everyone else can just crack on with this sheet and work their way through it. And I tell you what, if they get to the end of this sheet and they're still in one piece and they've managed to get some of these latter questions right, then I'm pretty confident that they can handle anything that the GCSE might throw their way in terms of circles and sectors and so on. So a wonderful, wonderful, lovely resource. Area of flags with circles. And I'd recommend uh, trying out its uh, kind of predecessor as well for all your all your area related needs. So thanks so much again to, to Owen slash Mike for uploading that hope you found that useful and i'll be back with a fresh resource of the week next week take care and bye for now